Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new to my channel, hi and welcome. Okay, so today I wanted to try two foundation hacks that I've been seeing going around YouTube and Instagram. They both involve using powder with your foundation. Two different ways of doing it. So I wanted to try it out and I decided to do it in one video. So I'm going to show you guys on half of my face one way of applying the powder and on the second half of my face the other half of my face i'm gonna use i'm gonna do the other method so basically you guys will get to see how they both go on and yeah so if you want to see then just keep watching okay guys so i'm gonna get started with the tarte poreless primer and prime my face for the first method i'm gonna be taking the powder from the laura mercier powder i'm gonna be pressing it and rubbing it into my face using an arsis brush you could use a powder puff for this method as well now I'm going to be looking at my face and see a little bit of dry patches, but let's see what the foundation does for that. So I'm going to take the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm going to be applying it all over my face using a damp beauty blender, just blending that out as I normally would. At first, I noticed that the coverage does look a little bit thicker, and also the foundation looks a little bit more matte than it usually does. So this is what the finished look looks like. Next, for the second half of my face, I'm going to be mixing the powder into the foundation. I'm going to make little dots on my face, and I'm going to then blend it out. This part, um, this side of my face, the foundation was a little bit thicker at first, but once I blended it out, it kind of looked very similar to the first side of my face. I felt like it looked identical this method is supposed to give you a lot more coverage all right so i did both sides now i'm going to just conceal um with my concealer i'm going to use the tarte shape tip concealer to conceal my face i'm just going to use this lighter one but i'm going to use a little bit of it so it doesn't look too crazy So right now my face looks a lot more matte than it ever really does. Um, I also feel like my uh, um, bronzer is that kind of blending out a lot easier and almost better. I don't know if it's because of the powder or something. Alright, so I'm going to take some of this Milani powder. I'm just going to just finish off my makeup on here. <laughs> Might as well, right? Um, because it has like broad blush and highlight at the same time. Let me see that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this uh, Maybelline, Maybelline, sorry. What is this? It is from Makeup Forever, the Starlight Powder. Alright guys, so I have completed my entire look. I will list everything I use in the description box if you want to check it out. So basically, this is how the two sides of my face look. To be quite honest with you guys, they look exactly the same. One method is supposed to give you a more full coverage look, which is the method where you mix in the powder with the foundation. And at first, it is definitely thicker when you're applying the product. So it would give you the idea that it would be thicker, but by applying the powder first, you're kind of doing the same thing. So it does give you more coverage anyway. Um, one thing I did notice was that when I applied the powder first, my dry spots were kind of like exaggerated, but it kind of just blended right in with the foundation. It didn't really seem to matter once I applied the liquid foundation. Um, I feel like they both make me super matte and I love the finish of it. I did spray on some dewy uh, spray. I feel like they both give more coverage than you typically would get. Uh, in terms of mattified, they, both sides of my face are pretty matte. The end result looks the same, so I feel like you would just pick whichever method you wanted to go with. If you like mixing things and playing around with makeup like that, then go with that method. Or if you want to just apply the powder first because it's a little bit less messy if you don't want to kind of like make a mess and use other, you know, you don't have like a little pad palette to mix things in and so forth. So yeah, uh, that's basically it you guys. I love this uh, method. Definitely, I will definitely use this 
um, for occasions and stuff like this. It helped my other powders blend in nicely as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Share it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.